Hi, this is Prakash from 60 seconds. So today we will get a question from geometry from CAT 2005 and we will try to solve it using multiple approaches. We will try to solve it first by using a standard methodical approach and then we will try to solve it using options. So the question goes like this. So P, Q, S and R are points in the circumference of a circle of radius R such that P, Q, R is an equilateral triangle and P, S is the diameter of the circle. So the figure will be something like this. There is a circle and there are four points P, Q, S and R such that P, Q, R is an equilateral triangle. If this is point P, Q, R then P, Q, R is an equilateral triangle and P, S is the diameter of the circle and P, S. So if this is point S, P, S would be a diameter of the circle. So we have to find the perimeter of P, Q, S, R. Say this is the center of the circle. So this is how the figure would be. Now I would request you to pause the video and try to solve the question on your own. And once you have done attempting, please look at for the solution. Okay, assuming that you have tried the question, let's see how we can solve this. This part and this part is going to be equal for sure because these are sides of equilateral triangle. I don't know what R S M. Q is. But if I join this diameter again in on probability S will be equidistant from R and Q because if you see R, P and Q is an equilateral triangle. If I draw this line point P with the center obviously this line will be symmetrically dividing the triangle and when it meets the opposite point on the circumference obviously it will be symmetrically located from R and Q. So S must be equidistant from R and Q. So RS and QS must be equal. Now first let us find one of PR and PQ and then we will find one of RS or QS. Okay. So let us see how we can find say PQ. So this is center O. So if I join this and if I drop a perpendicular. Now O is the circumcenter of the triangle PRQ and in an equilateral triangle circumcenter and in center are same. So the line joining OQ will also be the angle bisector. We can say this by symmetry itself. Since PRQ is an equilateral triangle, when I join a line joining one of the vertex and the center, this point O will be symmetrically placed in the triangle. So there is no reason for one of these angles to be greater than the other angle. Both the angles have to be same because point O is symmetrically placed. So since the total angle Q is 60, say this point is M. Since OQ will be the angle bisector, angle MQO this angle will be 30 degree. This angle will be 30 degree. So, what I have to do is, I have to find MQ and the double of that RQ will be same as PQ. So, I have to find MQ. So, I can use simple trigonometry here. So, if I use cos 30 degree, cos 30 degree will be nothing but base by hypotenuse which equals to MQ by OQ. Now MQ is what I have to find out and OQ I know is R, radius of the circle. And cos 30 is what? Root 3 by 2 which is equal to MQ by R. So from here I get MQ as root 3 R by 2. Therefore RQ will be twice of MQ which is nothing but root 3 R which will also be equal to PQ and which will also be equal to PR. Now I have to find QS. If I can find QS then again RS will be equal to QS and then I can find the perimeter. Let me join the center O with point S. Now since point S is symmetrically placed between R and Q and this angle I know is 60 angle in equilateral triangle. 
so this angle must be 120 and since S is symmetrically placed between R and Q, this will be angle bisector. So this each angle will become 60 degree. So if this angle, angle OSQ, angle OSQ will be 60. So this is 60 and OS and OQ both are radius. So angle OQS will also be 60. So this angle will also be 60. Angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So in that case, since these two angles are 60, this angle will also become 60. So since all the angles of triangle OSQ, all the angles are 60 degree, it is an equilateral triangle. And I know OQ and OS are equal to radius. So the value of OQ and OS is R, same way SQ will also be R. So I can say RS equals SQ equals R. Now since I know all these lengths, it is easy for me to find the perimeter. So perimeter will be nothing but PQ plus PR plus RS plus Qs. So PQ is root 3R, PR is root 3R, so I will get 2 times of root 3R and RS is R, Qs is R, so I will get 2R. So if I take 2 common, I will get R. I can take R also common outside, so I will get 2R root 3 plus 1. So first option is my answer. So in a given figure, if symmetry is given, please make use of symmetry, it makes the question very easy. So this is one way of solving the question. We can solve the same question using the options alone as well. Let's see how. Now this is the question given to me. Now let me try to find out the minimum and the maximum possible value of the perimeter of the quadrilateral. The minimum and maximum value. Now let's look at the maximum value. So can I say the perimeter of this quadrilateral will be definitely less than the perimeter of the circle? Perimeter of the circle is what? Or circumference of the circle which is 2 pi r. So perimeter of the quadrilateral will definitely be less than the perimeter of the circle because this straight line pr will definitely be less than the arc pr. So 2 into 3.14 into R. So I get 6.28 R. Now if I look at the minimum value. So let me join this line PS. Can I say the length of PS will definitely be less than the length of RS and PR together. What I am saying is PS will be less than PR plus Rs. This is true from the basic condition to form a triangle. Sum of any two sides should be greater than the third side. So if PRS is a triangle, PS must be less than PR plus Rs. So PS is how much? Is 2R the diameter? So 2R is less than PR plus Rs. So can I say PR plus Rs will be greater than 2R? Definitely. In the same way, the circumference of the quadrilateral will definitely be greater than 4R because PQ plus QS similarly will also be greater than 2R. So I can say the circumference of the circle will definitely be greater than 4R. I can very clearly just by common sense say that PS will be 2R and it will be less than the sum of these two lines. This is a straight line between P and S. This is not a straight line. It takes a deviation. So, PR and RS will definitely be greater than 2R. PQ and QS will definitely be greater than 2R. Circumference of the quadrilateral will definitely be greater than 4R. So, my perimeter of the quadrilateral must lie between 4R and 6.28R.
Now let me see which option doesn't match in this range. That cannot be my answer. So if I look at the first option, 2R into 1 plus root 3, root 3 is 1.732. So if I take it as 1.7, 1.7 plus 1, 2.7, 2.7 into 2 will give me something like 5.4 which lies in the range, can be my answer. Second option, 2 plus root 3, root 3 is 1.7, 1.7 1 plus 2 will give me 3.7, 3.7 into 2 will give me around 7.4 R cannot be my answer because it doesn't lie in the range. R into 1 plus root 5, root 5 is 2.24 plus 1, 3.24, 3.24 R, doesn't lie in the range, cannot be my answer, 2 R plus root 3, now very evidently, see as the circle increases or decreases in size, the quadrilateral will also proportionally increase or decrease in size and same way the perimeter will also be dependent on the radius of the circle, so I just cannot have one part depending on R and one part independent of R. The whole expression must be dependent on R. I just cannot have a root 3 as a constant added to the expression. The whole part must be dependent on R. So this cannot be my answer. By logic itself, I can say this cannot be my answer. So the only answer possible is this. This is how you can solve the question using common sense or using options. I hope this approach is clear. If you have any questions, please post them below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.